Ocean energy is one of the hottest new pursuits in green energy. To capture this energy, you need an area with consistent wave activity and the electrical infrastructure to move that energy to places that can use it. Also referred to as marine energy, ocean energy comes in many forms and at many locations. It can be harnessed from oceans, lakes, bays and rivers, anywhere water moves. It's so attractive because it has a relatively low impact on the environment and the energy is so vast, all powered by our sun and moon. Finding locations and building devices for marine energy is on the fast track around the world. Here in the United States, Oregon is seen as an ideal location for harnessing wave energy. The Pacific coast holds huge wave energy potential and because of the retired timber mills along the coast, power stations and transmission lines already exist to take the power inland. A forerunner of this movement is Oregon Wave Energy Trust, a non-profit entity who develops strategic relationships between commercial, state, education and private groups to move wave energy forward. Andrew, somebody told me that's the USS Blueback submarine. Yeah, and it was in a movie, apparently. Yeah, what was that called? The Hunt for Red October. So what's that got to do with hydrokinetic energy? A significant amount, Don. A lot, actually. Yeah. And this is Jason. Hey, Jason. Morning. Andrew. Jason, you are, you head up the Oregon... Wave Energy Trust. Wave Energy Trust. So how, in simple terms, does this beast here relate to anything that you're involved with? Well, uh, funny you should ask, because this big device here is basically what a wave energy device might look like put up on this end. It's approximately the same length. It's made out of heavy metal. Uh, if you put a big floaty thing at the top and a ballast at the bottom and put it on this end, that's what a wave energy device, device might look like. Is that right? So it'd yeah. be like an upright submarine? Long and skinny, a spar in the middle, and then the two pieces move in relation to each other as the waves go by it, and that motion can be converted to electricity. So we're talking now about, in terms of energy, we're talking about kinetic energy, right? Which is very different from a lot of the other energies that we've covered. So marine hydrokinetic energy, that's marine right. Marine hydro hydrokinetic energy. So go ahead and tell us why it's so important. Why, why are you involved in it? We believe that uh, marine hydrokinetic energy can offer an opportunity for the state of Oregon to produce clean energy, uh, create a new industry in the state to help create jobs and, and really boost our uh, economic prosperity in the state. There's a novel thought, create jobs. And we thought it was a good idea. There are a number of devices in the water around the world already. How big are they? Really, really big. Yeah. Uh, there's a device being built right really, now. Really, really big, got That's, that part. Is that big enough? Uh, there's a device being built currently right now. Uh, it'll be about 130 feet long, about 200 tons, three pieces, uh, the spar, the float, the, the uh, ballast at the bottom. And uh, it's gonna be deployed off the coast of Oregon at Reedsport uh, in uh, 2011. And we hope to follow that with uh, nine more for a grand total of 10. And then uh, we'll measure and see how those operate and hopefully move on to a much bigger project with 100 or 200 or more of these devices. How far off the coast? Well, the first project is going to be about two and a half miles. But they could be anywhere from almost immediately offshore to as far out as you want to go. So how, how does something in the water capture, how, how is that converted to energy? Well, uh, the wave energy device that uh, floats out there like a big buoy has a piece that, that stays relatively stationary with the ballast at the bottom with a part on top that's a float. And that float moves back and forth in relation. And so you can do classic uh, electrical generation from a magnet and coil, or you could hook up a rack and pinion system where you turn a turbine. Anything that creates a spinning device or uh, relative motion can create electricity. Could it include wind power too? Uh, eventually, uh, very much so. We uh, foresee a day whenever we'll have large floating platforms off the Oregon coast with both wind and wave integrated in one large platform. And you could put solar panels on the blades. Why not? Why not? That'd be pretty green. Wouldn't, it? wouldn't that be green? <laughs> huh? Wow, and sustainable. It would be very yeah. sustainable. 